How did I forget? I wasn't done. I forgot something super exciting. Okay, so not over yet, this mega jumbo crazy haul. So these are new to me um, sticks. <laughs> so they are called Kama and they are oil sticks. And I have been really enjoying using my Sennelier and RNF sticks, but Sennelier doesn't have the um, um, like the best color range for me personally. And RNF sticks are incredible and the color range is lovely. But they're insanely expensive here in Europe. They are made in the US. So I wanted to try these. So these are oil sticks, which is basically oil paint in stick form. And I've been enjoying using these. This is just like a canvas paper type of thing. This is, they are not as creamy as the RNF, but they're like a fraction of the price. They're probably more similar to the Sennelier. They're not super creamy and smooth. Um, however, I'm willing to tolerate that just because of the price of RNF. But as you can see, you can use a palette knife to apply them or you can um, use like this. I usually smooth things out with a palette knife. Uh, this green is called Cinnabar Green. It's nice, but this one is better. This is Cadmium Green Light. Let's open it. The color range is quite nice with these. So these are, as I said, oil sticks. That means they, whoa, <laughs> they are, they cure and you have to kind of remove the layer that cured to get to the workable uh, product. So this is nice. This is like this earthy green that I really like. And this is the small one. They have larger ones. Nice. So this is cadmium green light. And then I love this color. This is uh, azure blue. Um, I have something very similar from RNF, which costs a fortune. So I would be very, very happy to find a more affordable version. Yeah, this is lovely. I think they have a lighter version of this. So I want to see if I'm using the ones that I have and if I'm using them enough, then I will consider expanding my color range. These for me, I, I don't really see myself really mixing them, but rather using them, you know, straight from the stick sort of. Hornyak's pink. I don't know, I'm guessing it's probably an artist or something that I'm not familiar with and I will go and educate myself. So it's pretty, I kind of wish it was lighter, but I think I can mix it with, I have white, so I can mix it. I have white from a different brand. This one I'm excited about. Yes. So I don't have anything like this. I don't think that Sennelier or uh, RNF make fluorescent colors. So I'm super happy about it. And this is, it's a little bit garish, but I think I could take it. <laughs> I really love the painterly effect. Um, my palette is not completely clean. It has a little bit of that other color in it. I love the painterly effect that you get with such uh, products um, when you apply them to your painting. Even I do this even with watercolor paintings because you know watercolor is so flat. It's really cool to add a bit of texture. Uh, that you, you know, you can do that with acrylics, like use texture paste or heavy body paint. But with watercolors, you really can't. Okay, this one, the last one, is fluorescent red. Yes. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, really, really love this. What I particularly love about these, as I said, is that they are much more affordable than the um, similar products that I have access to. So I wanted to try some colors, some unique colors and the formula to see if this could be like my go-to um, 
for oil sticks if I decide I want to use them more. That's it, now really. We'll see you in the next video.